Indian Navy, in collaboration with Bishaga Patnam's Municipal Corporation, has started aerial seeding project with an aim to increase green cover in the district. The Eastern Naval Command would use helicopters to drop 50,000 seed balls in five locations, which are inaccessible through road. Celebrating Gandhi Jayanti, Madagascar Prime Minister Christian Nazi inaugurated a solar power plant at the Indian Embassy. This is the first clean and green Indian Embassy globally. The Embassy is said to be equipped with 8 kilowatt solar plant installed by Vision Madagascar. Union Minister Hardeep Puri hinted that India was close to achieve defecation free status for all cities. According to a survey, 99% of the cities in the country are ODF. However, due to COVID-19, the survey could not be completed in West Bengal. The Kerala government has imposed CRPC Section 144 in its capital, Tirunandapuram. The decision was taken owing to the rise in COVID-19 cases. District collector informed that order will be in place from 9 a.m. on October 3rd to midnight of October 31st. Under the Tandurus Punjab mission, the Punjab chief minister launched a project for construction of 750 stadiums and playgrounds in the rural areas of the state. The chief minister said that the project, which will cost rupees 105 crore, aims to help youth channelize their energy. Maharashtra government has formed an eight-member committee to implement the mandatory Marathi education for class 1 to 10. Earlier in June 2020, the government had passed an act to make Marathi a compulsory language across all mediums and boards. The Uttar Pradesh government suspended Superintendent of Police, Deputy SP and District Magistrate of Hatras following an uproar against gruesome rape incident. The additional Chief Secretary, Avinash Avesti, said that all the officers concerned and the victim's family will be subjected to an narco test as the statements are contradictory. New and advanced version of nuclear-capable missile Shaurya was successfully tested off the coast of Odisha. According to reports, the missile would be added to the strategic forces to complement a similar existing missile. Alarming against the growing distrust, UN Chief Antonio Guterres said that the world is living in an environment of nuclear disaster. He urged the US and Russia to extend the disarmament treaty start which is set to expire next year. Inter Milan's forward Romelu Lukaku has been awarded the UEFA Europa League Player of the Season for 2019-2020. The 27-year-old striker contributed 34 goals for Inter Milan in the season with 270 points in its pocket. Thank you for listening to Briefly News. Have a wonderful evening.